Right guys, hi and welcome to a new video. Um, okay, so as I said, I'm gonna bring out a tutorial and here it is. This is how to make the Mr. Sandwich logo or whatever you want it to be your name, obviously. So um, if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna be doing it for game battles, which is this originally what it was for, you're gonna go to File New and we are going to create a new image and for my case, it's gonna be um, 1024 bit like a um, desktop background and 78 height but what if you're going to do it for game battles you're going to do it by 300 by 200 pixels so we're going to name it so I'm going to call mine untitled for now um, and yeah we're going to start a new layer we're going to enter and we're going to put the background to black and we're going to select the white and we're going to do a text tool now I think diffused is the nicest font to use for this um, obviously use whatever font you want uh, so yeah so I'm going to put in xx mr sandwich xx and there we go we have the name so obviously you can put in whatever name you want so youtube name game battles name clan tag I suppose um, whatever um, so now we're going to go to blending options or double click on the layer we're going to add an outer glow of white to so make sure it is white so we're going to go FFF FFF uh, we're now going to do a spread of 10 a size of 18 and a range of 80 it gives a nice glow we're now going to do bevel and emboss click it once and then click contour and there we go that's that done and then we go to gradient overlay so you, you can keep this way obviously do the colors you want but in my case I'm going to do a dark red to a light red so there we go we have that now you can move the angle around so 180 or um, minus 90 which would be the other way around so but in my case I'm just going to do 90 Oops. there we go we're going to do 90 and we're going to click OK so there we go we've pretty much got it sorted we just need to do the other two bits so these two and that's quite really simple and um, we're going to click control J or simply where is it duplicate layer and simply we're going to press control T and move it so it just looks like that now we're going to put this below the original layer like so and we're going to press control I've forgotten what it is now <laughs> oh it's control J in it Okay, so we're going to duplicate the layer again, and we're going to simply drag it the other way to give it a sort of rattled effect. And there we go. So we have our original layer at the top, as you can see. This is our original layer, and it's given a nice little rattled effect. So now we can do a opacity, so we can do that one to 70. We can do this one to 50, just to give it a more rattled effect. And now we're going to import our MLG logo. So simply dragging your MLG logo. I already have mine sorted. Uh, there we go. Just going to put it just behind the effects. We're going to rasterize the layer. You could just get one off, off um, Google or something like that, or Image Shack or whatever. We're going to do the same effects to the MLG logo as the text. So we're going to do an outer glow, and we're going to do. 10, 18, and 80. Um, and we don't really want to do a gradient overlay because it just ends up like that. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so there we go. We have our Game Battles logo or YouTube layout or logo for desktop or whatever. Um, so, yeah, then save it and voila, you have your.